We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. The No Filter Show is brought to you by Boost Academy. Boost Academy is a smart school that prepares children, grades 4 through 12, for the modern world. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. Today on the show, we have a lot of exciting guests. And I'm switching up a bit where I'm trying to get like having a fun and then a serious type of thing, right? So we have Solo Maid, who is the Bahamian artist who does all the fun songs when there's some sort of crisis going on and he writes these in 30 seconds. It's pretty awesome. Then we have some insurance reps, my actual insurance reps, Jacozy Joma and Eric Sawyer from BAF, who's going to let us know the importance of insurance and what's available. And then, of course, for our head note segment, we have our HK admin, Erica Vess. So I'll see you soon. That's her only rule. The No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production, BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, Island Game, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Mitsunori Chikawa. Welcome to Latin Del Restaurant. Today, we prepare a matching jalapeno tiradito. On my dishes, I try to, to mix different flavors, spicy, sour, sweet, to make a aumami flavor. After put the hamachi in the plate, we need to season it with a Himalayan salt, a little pinch of black pepper. Then, to have a fresh flavor, we put uh, some To make a spicy flavor, we, we put a roaster jalapeno pepper. We use a special sauce, the name is jalapeno ponzu. It's a half part of the ponzu sauce and a half part of jalapeno dressing. And finally, we put a some topping of the fried leek in each Kamachi slices. Here we are, okay? So, this is Hamachi spicy jalapeno. Welcome.
plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Mesa Grill. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And I'm here with the one and only Solo Maid. Now, I thought it was very important to bring Solo on the show because a lot of people, we only hear his voice. We never get to see who the face is behind the voice. And once one of these songs shoot around WhatsApp and Facebook and all of this, it's gone viral. So... Welcome to the show, Solo. Thank you for having me. It's solo always a pleasure. The, don't forget the to the Google. That's just my little solo mate on Facebook. Thank yeah, so, because um, you can't even Google, apparently. Okay. Yeah, but he's smart. He's pretty smart. Mm -hmm. Remember how to spell that, okay? Google so, Google. Solo, first of all, am I allowed to ask, just, what is your real name? My real name is Joel Dill. Joel Dill. Yes. How did you come up with Solo Maid? Solo Maid, well, that's... You know, you got to find a name for Facebook, so when you scramble and choose, you got to make up something. But My name is Gina. Well, that's you. On Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I need a special name. <laughs> so Basically an artist's name. How long? Oh, I'm not an artist. You see, now he's telling me. Well, Gina, yeah. you're not an artist. So. I'm not an artist. So, what, uh, it was you who came up with that? With Solo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had the name from school time. I had ah. it from Grade 10. Okay, and what made you go into, so once again, let me just clarify, y'all know when all the things go down, BPL, mm -hmm. Mama's Air, and whatever uh, so thing that, whatever we are uh, mad about at the moment, mm -hmm. it, 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 30 seconds later, there's a <laughs> song seconds. that goes around, and this is a full made song full in thing. the studio with music, ah, with harmony, with full, background. Oh, Listen, I, yeah, I full like, package. Listen, I say, yo, and uh, 30 seconds later, he has a song out. So we're going to um, do one of the songs. BPL, I'm so tired <laughs> of your cutting my current off and on. That's one. And he can sing, you know. And just, so yeah. you, you, you do, listen, and I, everybody, when, when that little thing comes out, it says forward, and we all know uh -huh. that we're <laughs> waiting to see what you're going to say next. Right. So what makes it to the point when it's that extreme, when you go, I got to write a song about this, because uh, this is it. It, it. To the point where I just get texts uh. from fans, and uh, you just know when you feel a vibration of what's going on, when everybody like kind of fed up, or if it's a big deal, you know, so they basically just call out for it now. No, but now, you don't only sing these little Silly songs, that's no. just for entertainment. You do real, because you can hear he has a real voice. Yeah. So he actually can sing. Ah. And you have done songs. I have done songs. I that's gone worldwide. Yes, I have. Like Hurricane Irma. Mm -hmm. And a few. And I've, uh, I'm also a gospel artist as well, so I sing gospel too. And do you write majority of your songs? I write the majority, the minority, everything from start to finish. <laughs> so it depends on if, and then how do you determine like what song, like the background you're gonna do? The background vocals. Like yeah. It's just a matter of listening to it. And you feeling, know, feeling, feeling it. the vibe, listening to it, and see where you're making certain points. Like for instance, it's just like when you're writing like a book. You know, you have the in introduction, you have context, you have paragraphs, you have chapters. So I use that same format, and that's basically my skill set for when I creating a song. Have an intro. But sometimes it don't always come that way. It comes off where it's just a chorus. Uh -huh. And then sometimes it's a verse that turns into a chorus. So it be all depends. Because sometimes you're, sometimes you're the, the little ones that you do would be something um, that's long. Yeah. And then sometimes it's short. Mm -hmm. And then like... Um, the one when you did with Bahamas Air. Oh, yeah. When you just end, ain't no penis. Ain't no penis. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I always wait and tell to see how, what, what is the last line is going to be? The last line. <laughs> it's really funny. So how can people uh, who don't know about you or how can they find you? You can find me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's Solo Made. That's S-O-L-O-M-A-D-E. Solo Music. S-O-L-O-M-U-Z-I-K. 
So. M-U-Z-I-K. Suppose somebody says that they have a great idea that you should write about. Like how you say you get tax and all that. Can they go on Facebook and say, you writing a song about this? Yeah, they're going to me up. I mean, I don't, it's so much things. Right, you can't do all. You can't do all. And then you don't want, you don't want to do it so much ahead. I mean, back to back. You want to still leave a little bit of space and say, listen, oh, no, I need nothing. Right, right. You know what I mean? So you don't want to drown and spread yourself too thin. No, and then, too, what happens if we don't hear a song for a while, then we wonder, where, where'd you go? Yeah. What happened? So do you sometimes put one in the bank? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so say, I have this audition. But I leave a little space so you can miss. Okay. You can miss me a little bit. So here's my suggestions of mm -hmm. songs that I, I, I would like to have done. I mean, other than one about me is I want one on people who can't drive in roundabouts. <laughs> and then I don't know if you've done one about um, experiences in the government offices. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. So one day what you should do is go to the different government offices. Mm -hmm. And then you could get a lot of ideas. And get the info from them. Yeah. And okay. the stress. You should just travel with me. <laughs> because my and fuse is like, <laughs> I trip out. All right. So... The, the the song that you have done with um who did he do it with Stephen? The the who is it? Landlord. Landlord. We need peace. Yes, we need peace. That's it. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I have Stephen because I forget these things. So um, I want people to hear that. Uh, uh, they had me listen to it because uh, I didn't even know that was you. Uh -huh. I, I I honestly thought that you just did all these funny things, right? Yeah. yeah. And then that was like, wow, he actually has real music and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's named We Need Peace. And um, so it would say, if they had to find it on iTunes, it would say, We yeah. Need Peace, Solo Made? No, no, no. That's Landlord's song, actually. I mean, Landlord. Okay. Oh, it's his that's song, his but song, you sang but it I'm with him. I'm featured in it. Ah, yes, okay. I'm one of so, the yeah, artists. listen to that. It's a cool song. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that, that that was good. Yeah, so, really anything good. else, everybody, make sure to go to his Facebook page and I, SoundCloud page, too. Solo Music, M U Z I K. SoundCloud. I don't even know what that is, but that's I'm welcome. Welcome to my world. I don't okay. know. Okay. You need to yeah. put your stuff on there. Okay. That's Alrighty. That's why I have Steven. Steven. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> thank you for coming in. He's laughing at me. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody listens to this music. I find it very entertaining, hence why it's here. <laughs> I, I love laughing, and I always think of what is he going to do next. So I'm a fan. Hope you become a fan. Make sure to check him out. Solo made, all right? Thanks for coming. I appreciate thank you it. Thank for having me. All right. Yes. Boost Educational Services presents Boost Academy, a boutique smart school that prepares children in grades 4 through 12 for the modern world. Students will be held to international standards in their core subjects while also engaging in individualized learning pathways that play to their unique strengths and interests. Boost maintains a student-staff ratio of 1 to 8 and provides after-school clubs, classes, one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and social-emotional counseling support at no additional cost. Furthermore, students will enjoy weekly PE and swimming at Evolve Functional Fitness. Stepping away from the traditional model, Boost Academy aims to prepare your child for world citizenship by tackling topics such as human rights, the Constitution, financial literacy, and entrepreneurship. If you're a parent with uncompromising standards for education and you're seeking a holistic educational program, please reach out. Find us on the web at www.boostbahamas.com or email info at boostbahamas.com. Here's to all the early morning breakfasts. To the last minute surprises and a new friend for life. The year the sparks flew and we said, I do. Here's to the biggest table on the street when family and friends come together. Milo Buck, your neighborhood store of family tradition. Summer, take off with Shell. Spend $20 or more in fuel and enter to win. You and a friend can experience Bruno Mars live in concert in Viva Las Vegas. Or relax in picturesque Harbor Island for the regatta. Or plan an exciting vacation for four to Orlando. Fuel up at your nearest Shell service station and you can also win thousands of dollars in free gas. Bahamas Air vouchers, super value gift certificates, or one of many new iPhones that will be given away this summer. So hurry into your favorite Shell location and enter to win. Like us on Facebook for more chances to take off with Shell. And win today. Hey. Hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. You still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me call you back. Okay, good. Me too.
This segment is brought to you by Pottery and Tire Alignment Specialist. Hi everybody, welcome back to the No Filter Show. And right now, as promised, I've brought on an insurance rep. My actual real reps are here today from BAF. And his name is, one of their names, Eric Sawyer. The third. The Eric, oh, Eric the third. Sanders. Let me get that right. And Eric, welcome. Check out Eric's socks. <laughs> I don't know if that's in. The, if that's it, but they are too funky. All right. I hope you can see them. I hope you can see them. They cool. Thank you. Very sexy. Oh yeah, yeah you hold them up. <laughs> that's jokey. So Eric is here now to tell me about something my mom said that I should be getting, and it's called uh, final wishes. No, it's called a final expense. Final expense yes. insurance. Yes. What is it's that? It's called a final expense plan. It is a plan specifically geared to people who um, who may not necessarily qualify for um, standard insurance because of uh, pre-existing conditions such as oh, high blood pressure. That's why mommy tell me. Because <laughs> um, I have lupus. Okay. So that's maybe okay. that's why she said you should that look at why. getting this. That is oh, why. she's planning to bury me. Um, Got it. Uh, it assumes a maximum of fifty thousand dollars worth of coverage. Ooh, that's a lot for you as a as a client. But but it is indeed a graded policy, meaning that you you would have to live for at least four years in order to get the full benefit of the plan. I'll explain. If if God calls you home. I mean, in the first two years of He's having... He's definitely insurance. <laughs> God <laughs> calls you home, okay. If God calls you home, well, within the first two years of you having the policy, mm -hmm. we, will, we will refund to your beneficiary all of the premiums plus 5%. Okay. Of your premiums. Okay. Not of the face amount of the policy. Okay. Okay. If it's, if, if it's two to three years, we, we pay out 35% of the face amount. If it's three to four years, we pay out 50%, and over four years, will you get the entire thing. So you get a whole lot of four years. I need to sign up today. <laughs> I need four years. Okay, and so the basic reason for that, and they call it, I call it final wishes, because I was told it's for basically to cover your funeral expenses right. so you don't burden your family with that. Exactly. That we makes total sense. How much is that roundabout? Per month, um, it it it's dependent upon age, and it is also um, 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 dependent upon your um, level of pre-existing condition, as well as you may be, you may be. I mean, I mean, you know, behaviors go. We eat Sunday dinner every day, and um, for the most part, we we, <laughs> we uh, not 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 um not um every behavior has the same level of metabolism. So you <laughs> tend to be, you know, somewhat overweight. Mm -hmm. And so if you are deemed that you cannot get, you know, um, insurance due to your high body mass index, all words here yeah, just to kind of. Right. You know. Anyway, what right, is the minimum but, amount you think you could pay? Um, some policies, you could be 20 years old because the policy starts for, for um, anybody from age 16 mm -hmm. to 74. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, a 22-year-old female, maybe for like a $10,000 plan, maybe like $20 a month. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, I know my mom's yeah. paying 35. Yeah. Okay, good. But, 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 but like I said, it's dependent upon if you have yeah. any. Like me, I know I'll be like $11. I get you, I, I cool, I got it. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much, Eric, no for sharing that. Final. What's it called? Final expense. Final expense. But um, if you call Eric or Jacozzi and you ask for final wishes, Gina said, then they'll know, okay, this is what we mean. All right? <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for coming you. on. And I'll see you. And I hope that people call and actually sign up and get this thing. All right? I hope so, too. All right, darling. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And I'm here with my good longtime friend as well as my insurance rep. Chikozi, and listen, I y'all y'all go. We can put his name to the bottom, and y'all gonna mess it up. But I'm gonna say it. Chikozi Ijoma. Thank you, like. And um, welcome. Thank you, Gina. It's a pleasure to be here. So uh, let me let y'all know. First of all, how long have you been doing insurance now? Um, I've been ducking insurance agents for about nine years. 
but I've been actually in the insurance business for just over a year now. Right, and he's at BAF. And when Jacozzi started selling insurance, I asked Jacozzi what I did. Now listen, I get about a thousand referrals. And I cancel all mine and come to cancel you. She comes straight to me. Oh, Lord. I so, won't tell you where she comes from, but anyhow. That's right. I, I may, but I'm going to let you all know. And it has to be, I, I personally feel that when you have an insurance rep, you want to have somebody who you have a relationship with because that's a, that's a big trust thing as well. Because I don't want, I know in my heart that if something happened, Jacozzi coming down to that hospital or he coming into my house and he could say, no, we got to get Gina straight. Not only will he does he know I crazy, but I feel at a comfort level with you, you know, being here. And so I wanted people to know, too, because I'm still surprised at the amount of people who don't have insurances. And it's not only because of the fact that, yes, I know that a lot of people say they can't afford it. Um, or it's unreasonable or I just don't have the money for it. But when it comes to you're going to get a mortgage or, you know, that's where I think is probably the most important is if you're going to go to the bank to get a mortgage, you need insurance. Yes, you do. The, because of the fact the bank owned the house, something happened in the house, you need to have it insured. So, the, I mean, life insurance is important uh, as well, well because then for the bank, for the mortgage, they need to make sure you're covered and they're going to make sure that building is covered. Right. Yes. Um, some people don't have health insurance. That's fine. I'm not going to push that. Uh, but I think that when it comes to your house, your mortgage, uh, your life, and then I'll talk about with Eric later on um, the special wishes, final wishes, whatever that's final called. Expense, yes, final right. expense one. So, Jacozzi, tell me, if somebody, why do you think that's important for your house and what are all your cover and stuff like that? Well, first of all, insurance. If you're in the insurance industry, you realize that we are in the business of restoring dignity. Okay? We are in the business of restoring you to a position that you once were before. Um, you have a house and you have it insured, what you are trying to guarantee is that you can replace the house or its contents or any damages that have been sustained. That's the benefit of insurance for the home. Uh, for the life, for, for when, when you have life insurance, uh, the same can be applied. You can't restore life. However, we can restore your f the, the lifestyle that your family members would have been accustomed to in the event that you are no longer here. So you think that it's better, like, I'm, 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 I'm saying this nice, but if the husband is the provider, at least if you only could afford for one person to have life insurance, if he's the one to provide it, you have a wife at home who doesn't work, he should at least have life insurance because what's going to happen, that something happened to him, what happens to the entire family type of thing? You're in trouble. You're in problems. So let's say, let's say, let's say for example, you have two, two, two uh, parents. You want to make sure both of them have insurance coverage, okay? Uh, should something happen to either one, the husband, let's say he makes 60000 the wife makes 40000 It's 100000 in total. If something happens to either one of them, that remaining parent with the salary or income that they have coming in has to do the full load. The full load with his, his 60000 her 40000 what collectively 100000 would have done. But if you have proper or adequate life insurance, we alleviate that problem. All right, and allow you to maintain a lifestyle of dignity in the absence of that loved one. And I also feel as if that when we come to you and we say, okay, Gozi, seriously, I can't afford this, I can't afford that, you do try to say this is our different uh, packages or uh, I don't know what you call them, insurance policies that we offer. So if you could work with, and I know that you do try to say, okay, Gina, this is what we could do. You know, and every, uh, one that I want to let you know, honestly, like I, I'm telling you the truth. He is my real rep. And so we do do the, I, I you know, ah, cause you ain't all that. I ain't nothing happening. So and he'll say, okay, this is what we could do. And then they also could do a payment plan. Yes. So you could do all of that. So they do work with you. So Jacozzi, please let them know, how do they get in touch with you? Well, you can reach me at uh, 429-2899 or you can call BAF 461-1135. Um, also available via email, C E J O M A C-I-J-E-O-M-A, at mybafsolutions.com. 
I love, I always love that. My BAF solutions. Yeah, that's that's what we provide. We're going to type it and put it to the bottom of the screen so you all can see it, all right? Chikosi, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. I hope everybody learned something and go get insured. And I love you. Love you too, Gina. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. You Bye. too. Bye. Into the quality home center. You will see the savings from when you enter. Your one-stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Shop at the quality home center. Home center, spend less and better. With Trio, you can get everything and more, like our phone. You get features like caller ID, call waiting, call forwarding, and a bunch of others, like <coughs> virtual number. So you can now call friends and family abroad as a local call, all for free. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev. You and us together. This segment is brought to you by Milo Butler and Sons. Welcome back to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. And it's time for our Head Knowles segment. And I have one of our jurors here today which is one of the 12 ladies of admins for Head Knowles, Erica Best. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Welcome again. Thank you for having me back, and congratulations on season two. Thank you. But I mean, welcome again, because we just did this, and Stephen messed up, and it was a pleasant record, so we have to do it all over again. Yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. Okay. So now let's try to remember what the conversation we just had, mm -hmm. so we can do it again. Mm -hmm. So Erica, mm -hmm. first question I was saying is, do you think we should know the first thing I said was, I am so sorry for all of you people who are waiting to be a part because it's a closed group. But do you think that we should open up as a public group? Um, I'm not sure. Um, one of the problems I personally have when I go on to approve people waiting is that I get distracted by people who aren't following the rules. Right. Um, because we have a lot of amazing helpers who report content that should not be on the page. So then I get distracted with that. Um, distracted meaning you used to be like, man, I didn't even want to. I didn't want to. No, go else going and deleting the people who are promoting that should not be promoting because there's no advertisement, there's no promotions, and there's certain things that you really don't need to be posting on head No knows. cussing, no all my car and off. Or you know, um, sermons and stuff, stuff that should be on your personal page, right. not on head knows, because that's not the purpose of head knows. And I think if it went public, that could potentially open up a huge can of worms of people posting, um, how can I say this in a politically correct way, just information that is not necessary for head knolls. Garbage. Yes. Good one. Yes. Basura. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, what we were thinking of too, suppose we started, because you know right now, head knolls is a group. Mm -hmm. Suppose we started a head notes page, and then we started like sifting out who should be on which one, and we made one public, and then we made the other one private. You know what I think personally, and I know we discussed this, was this a year ago, was having people pay. The purpose of head notes, the reason head notes came about was to help people, victims of the hurricanes. Um, we live in the Bahamas. It's inevitable that one of these years we're going to have another bad hurricane, right? Mm -hmm. And I think we discuss about a nominal fee of like $5 a month. I mean, I'm not in a great financial situation, but I could afford $5 a month. And I think that would um, determine people who are coming on there just to... I happy with a dollar a month. Right, yeah. But anything like that, I mean, which would then go into um, a reserve for when we don't have to go big and start right because as soon as around. because as soon as catastrophe hit, hits, then we're ready to go. And then everybody's call us. Right now, how do you feel about uh, the other day? We got uh, people got upset. It was too funny. 
when okay so head knows is right now we're about referring like hey angie's list craigslist so then people got mad they go on their own pages this is what has killed me mm -hmm. they just go on their own page to talk bad about us mm -hmm. and they say that oh n n um one set complaining and the other person giving praise so i had a good like i the other day i went to go get my car relicense and mm -hmm. it took 25 minutes i couldn't believe it, it took me three hours so <laughs> So, well, same thing. I went and I put, had a great experience. And um, this will let everybody know. Maybe it was a time, a day I went. Maybe it was a day I went. I don't know. But I put that. And then people were like, why you got to post this? Mm, I feel shame. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> I, I actually, I think I actually loved your post. Because, <laughs> first of all, there's enough negativity going on, especially with all the power issues going on. So it's good, you know, people come on and they vent. And people are much more um, willing or wanting to talk about bad experiences negative. than good. Yes. You know, and at the end of the day, there's enough negative stuff going out there that it's, for me, I find it enlightening to, to fi hear about a positive experience. So I, I, I thought know. that was awesome. I know, right. So it's, I, I honestly, all the time I say, boy, I feel like we can't win for losing. I, and I don't understand, like... <laughs> well, and also, but going back to people who go onto their page to vent about Head Knowles, like you said, it's a private group. If you don't want to be on it, if you don't agree with the ru rules, leave. And then when they leave, they have to make an announcement on their page to say, I just left Head Knowles, and blah, blah, blah. And I feel like, honestly, you know what hurts me? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap up by just saying... It does hurt me because I feel as if us as the admins, we are actually all good people. Mm -hmm. um, we all try to make a change. Mm -hmm. We all have the same goal, the same vision. And at some point, we are going to get fed up and people are mean and they talk bad about us and they don't even know us personally. Right. And they make it seem as if we're trying to be mean, but we're only trying to keep structure, just like any sort of government, trying to keep structure and trying to do right. good. Right. So, and stuff like this where I go, why? Do, but some people are just negative. Like, that's just how they live. Exactly. And they feel as if they're going to be more important when they go in and make the announcement. Oh, I just have head knows. And I just feel like, peace type of thing. So what yeah. I would say is, if you think you could do a better job, go ahead, start your own page. I mean, for goodness sake, Lord knows that the country could use all the help we can get, right? So if you think you could do a better job, go and do your own page and leave head knows. But remember what Head Knowles is about. We are there to help. And it's like I tell my kids. You when you go. Nice to say? Don't say it at all. Boom. Finish. Exactly. All right. So that was Erica with our Head Knowles segment. Thanks for coming. Love you. Thanks for having me. Love you too. All right, darling. With Trio, you can get everything and more. Like our internet. We're taking you from 50 megabits per second download speed to 75 megabits per second. We've gone from blazing to, what's a good adjective? Breakneck blistering speeds. You're getting 150% speed increase than if you got internet alone. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev, you and us together. The No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by another production. BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, Island Game, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center. We're back with the No Filter Show, and this is the time where I get to say anything I want to say. So, number one is, let me let you know my production team pissed me off today. <laughs> See, he doesn't know that I'm actually going to say this. But I'm going to politely call all of their names, Stephen and Jason, who was in the room today. <laughs> so, uh, huh? Don't, 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 don't blur, don't make sure. Steven is going, he may try to black out his name. Ashley, but Ashley always does a great job. I don't, it's the other two that I have to deal with. So, Jason, um, he's so special because he does so many different roles. But the problem is he is the assistant in all of these different roles. 
<laughs> and if we could get him a step up to do all of those roles, that would be, we'll be, <laughs> we'll be great. Now, I did this whole segment earlier, and I fit da 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 the whole thing, and then Stephen goes, oh, "You were doing great, but I didn't press record." So I just want to let y'all know, this is, you know what, Stephen? I think that one day we should do a show on y'all doing the show. Can we do that? Because it's 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 a lot that I deal with. You think it'd be awesome? Yeah, you'll see, and I deal with, thank God I have Ashley, this one bit of estrogen in the room, because let me tell you something, I've been dealing with these men, they'll set you crazy. And just moving on to men, I was explaining to them earlier, it's amazing how, I don't know if God just made women more observant, because this can be sitting right here, right here. Big blue cup, and you could say, Jason, Stephen, can you bring me the blue cup? Where, where's the blue cup? Where's the blue cup? Now, I can't just blame them because my husband and my son do the same thing. Is that just something with men? I don't know. We're, I'm going to Google that. Or oh, would a solo maid go Google that? Google that. I can, I can look that up, okay? <laughs> Guess what? This is brought to you by Rev, not Squarespace. Have a good day. Promotional consideration provided by... Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center.